animal from the audience? Lobster. Lobsters. <laughs> and can I have four performers on stage? That's one. That's two. Um. And what we'll be doing is these four gentlemen will be telling you how lobsters were a critical part of the Roman army. And so when I point it in, for example, like this, Lobsters were the basis for the centurion's armour with its scale and overlap methods. However, if one of them should make a mistake, such as... Uh, but, um, then you in the audience can yell, die. So, let's try again. That's... Die! die. <laughs> and we continue with three. Uh, yes, and let's say, Dr. One then, how lobsters were an integral part of the Roman army. Lobsters were an integral part of the Roman army because their claws were very potent weapons. And when used in conjunction with the shield, you could protect yourself and everyone around you with the lobster. In, in addition, they also doubled as rudimentary weapons. You see, their claws were very useful at shearing through enemies. So, the Romans would tape lobsters to their fists, inventing lobster rage gauntlets. <laughs> and using the rage gauntlets, they would punch through the barbarians until there were no, none left. Italian accents. And then uh, they took uh, the lobsters, and when they had finished the fighting, they started on uh, the eating, and it is everywhere known. No, Italian accents. Okay, <laughs> 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 hey, uh, let's know some of the weaknesses of using lobsters. One of the weaknesses of using lobsters is that they were prone to being cooked by the sheer heat that centurions emanated from their fists when in full-on rage mode. <laughs> <laughs> It also meant that if they were far from the sea, the lobsters that they were fighting with were liable to die. <laughs> this was a disadvantage for a number of reasons, mostly that battles were not fought in large tanks, but were actually fought on land. With the aid of the... Die. Die. <laughs> and why they stopped using lobsters then? And let's have French. French accents. Je suis zen the lobsters, they were taken. But people found that they stopped uh, working quite as well. When the air was dry and the barbarians wore lobster-proof armour, <laughs> this was a genius invention which defeated many Roman armies over the course of three days. And so, with the anti-lobster armour which was made of the lobster's arch nemesis, the crab, <laughs> the lobsters were unable to penetrate the crab armour. But then when the crabs did the... the die! die. Ed too, audience! <laughs> and tie it up, competently. And so, with the lobsters unable to penetrate the crab armour, the lobsters were proved to be useless, and so the Romans released them back into the wild, where they formed many underwater cities. <laughs> <laughs>